from the WNN 19 studio in Newark, Ohio. It's time to get schooled in improv comedy with Jeremy Burgess, Lizzie Bowman, Michaela Spencer, Matt Piper, Emily McAlpine, Taylor King, and Mr. Dave Williams in Drama Dave's Acting Coons. All right, thank you for tuning in. Our first game today is going to be Weird Newscasters. Uh, four of our actors are going to be in this game. One of them will be playing a normal newscaster. One of them will be, will be playing their co-anchor that has some bizarre personality that will give them. Someone will be playing the weather person and the sports person, all with bizarre personalities, and they're going to deliver our daily news, which may or may not be based on real news that's actually happening. Although if you do real news, do a funny version of it. Go, Dave! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Michaela will be our normal news anchor. Yeah! Bringing us today's stories. <laughs> Taylor will be our unusual news anchor with some bizarre personality quirk. Liz will bring us the weather, and you can just stand behind the anchors. And Matt will bring us sports. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ironically, the only person in this room who actually plays a sport ever got picked. Oh, you swim. Sorry. I'm just used to no drama kids ever doing sports. I auditioned for basketball one time. Sorry, we'll take that part out in post so they don't know that you guys aren't good at sports. Um, okay. So, uh, we need some unusual news personality. So I guess, Jeremy, you're the personality picker. Okay. So we need some unique personality traits. Well, one, it's going to be a Polish grandma, better known as a babushka. Okay. <laughs> Taylor, that's you. You are a Dang Polish it! babushka. <laughs> Polish grandma. Okay. The other one's going to be um, uh, a turkey. All right. Liz, you are a turkey bringing us the weather. But Let's add something on to turkey. A turkey who... Bakes other turkeys. <laughs> All right. That's dark. A, a turkey... Turkey chef. Is Matt the last one? <laughs> yeah. Well, that'll Matt be Pee Wee Herman. All right. Matt Pee Wee Herman. Herman. <coughs> you know Pee Wee Herman is? I, I know. What is Paul? I just can't do Pee Wee Herman. Give, give me, give me uh, Pee Wee Herman. Oh, no. What's Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> I can't do that. It's the Matt. Her. What? Matt Pee Wee Herman. He's a he's a very stereotypically overdone nerd. Think of that. Huh? From '80s kids TV. All right. And tuning into our news, action. Hello, I'm Michaela Spencer, and you're turning into 10 TV Live. Today we have some great news for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and head it over to sports. Um, hi. Um, <laughs> my, my name is uh, uh, and to the sports. Huh. Well, um, here we are today. Um, the Ch Ch Chelsea um has just won against the uh, um um. Um, going to football, um, the, the, uh, swimming, um, uh, Rudolph, oh shoot, um, uh, um, 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 okay, water polo, uh, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeff. Um. All right, so today a polar bear escaped from the zoo with a water buffalo, and it is rumored that they're getting married. More the on story. All right, apparently one of them is also a Polish water buffalo. Baby babushka! <laughs> and um, on to weather. <laughs> Talking about his book, The Power of Languages. 
including only Turkish and Polish. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's not what Turkish is, right? <laughs> just want to make sure. <laughs> Another historical fact for our viewers, that is not what Turkish is. <laughs> Will you move the table now? Yeah. Babushka! When you don't know. See, I went with the nerd that didn't know anything about sports. <laughs> like, at all. Uh-oh, we're dropping a prop. Yeah, what was Matt's character? I don't remember. Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. Uh, did I do it well? Oh, I like that. You did it beautifully. <laughs> yeah, Taylor, so it's my favorite. When in doubt, just say what you are over and over. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told her to do. She that went to Polish and said, I don't know what to say. Babushka. I was so in doubt. <laughs> okay, our next game is the ever-popular soap opera, in which our actors will perform for us a soap opera uh, in an unusual location where you wouldn't usually have a soap opera. So give us a location. Give us a place to have our soap opera. Let's say we're on... A slaughterhouse. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> I just thought of it. <laughs> okay. All right, so we will have a slaughterhouse soap opera. Days of our... Cows. Dead cows. Days of our dead cows. <laughs> All right. Uh, an episode of Days of Our Dead Cows uh, will be brought to us by Jeremy, <laughs> Michaela, <laughs> and Piper. <laughs> Last time on Days of Our Dead Cows. Roland and Elizabeth got married, but Charles has a surprise in store for them. Bum, 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 bum. It's cold in here. Yes, it is, Roland. Why'd you do it? What do you mean, why I did it? Why'd you do it? The cows. Look. Do you they see? just wanted to moo! The cows were not proper in the field. I am That was a pun. I really. I see what you did there, it will be Charles. Okay. I'm in a bad mood! Charles! Roland, we cannot continue to fight this way. In a slaughterhouse. Where there are dead cows. Who don't moo anymore. Maybe we should pray for them. Maybe we should make a cow compromise. Hold my hands and pray <laughs> for the dead cows. <laughs> Dear Lord of the Cows, Please, rise the cows to your land of green pastures in the heavens. Let them eat anything but hamburgers and frolic about in a proper manner. <laughs> ah, moo. It is done. That was our surprise. Another surprise. I'm leaving Another you for him. Wait. You slaughtered my favorite cow. I'm gonna write about this from my dairy. <laughs> Dear dairy, the other day- Charles! I don't wanna hear anything about your dairy. Your dairy makes me angry. On second thought, I don't like how many feelings he has, so. I love you, Stilwell. You don't like how many feelings I have? <laughs> I'm pregnant with a cow. I don't know how it happened. It was the work of the cow god. Um, so, uh... So, surprise. Well, I'm running out of cow puns. Charles, hey, uh... Um, so here we are in this slaughterhouse. Um, yes. Milk, ja. <laughs> Okay, Charles. Okay. Okay, Charles. I fell for you because ah. of your quick wit, Charles. But it's over now. Please, please stop. I wish we knew what was happening here. I wish we knew what was happening here. I wish we knew we know what was happening here. I wish I wasn't pregnant with a cow, baby. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Tune in next time to Days of Our Dead Cows to find out, is her baby 
a demon cow baby. Will Roland ever get completely milked? Which one will Elizabeth end up with? Both! All right. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I just want to say for the record, Jeremy, I hate you so bad. <laughs> How clever am I? <laughs> Are we gonna have to cut that milk jug? <laughs> That's gonna kill us. Yeah, it's fine. Eh? You pinch Matt's nipples. As we <laughs> learned from Meet the Parents, you can milk anything with nipples. Yeah! You can milk anything with nipples, Greg. <laughs> I've got nipples fucker in the milk I was little kittens. Jesus. <laughs> can you milk me? <laughs> milk anything. Alright. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we're skirting the line, I think, here. All right, props with emotions. So our actors will each have a prop. Each prop is associated with an emotion. Uh, they have to incorporate the props into their scenes, and whenever they are in possession of a particular prop, they also have to have that emotion and make it make sense in the context of the scene. If their prop makes them be angry, then they have to have a reason to be angry within the scene, and everyone else has to react accordingly. So... This scene will be brought to us by Lizzie. Yeah, Taylor. Yeah. And Matt. So we've got a circular saw, a rubber duck, and a turkey. Uh, so give us some emotions. Melancholy. Confused. All right. The circular saw of confusion. Anyone who is in possession of the circular saw has to be confused. The rubber duck of melancholy, which is a pleasant sort of sadness. It's my life. And give me one more emotion. What else do we have? Flustered. That's too much like confused. Give me something else. Flabbergasted. <laughs> How about if we go with mad? <laughs> yeah, angry. All right. Frustrated. Turkey of anger, rubber ducky of melancholy, and uh, circular saw of confusion. And let's give our actors also a relationship. How do they know each other? Combined marriages. <laughs> so they're all married? Yeah. Okay, a one combined marriage. Uh, I'll let you sort out how the gender relations work. I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on here. Um, we're in a combined marriage. You've got your emotions. And let's give them, uh, give me an event that a large group of people would attend. A Christmas. Fight. Christmas fight. <laughs> Christmas fight. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Is that a thing? That's a thing, it doesn't believe me. Those are all the things. I don't work with it. They, they know Okay. <laughs> all right. You're attending a Christmas fight as a, com a, well, a combined family, a group family. Yeah. A, lar a combined marriage. Yeah, a combined marriage. A, a combined a marriage attending marriage. a Christmas fight. You've got the circular saw of confusion. The turkey of anger, the rubber ducky of melancholy, which is a pleasant sort of sadness. <laughs> it's a lot to swallow. Action! I hate you, Sally! June! Honey, what? I'm oh, home. She cooked my turkey! I mean, I was kind of confused. I mean, I was meaning to, you know, chop it up, like, you know. Oh, you never liked him! I'm really sorry, guys. Wait, she just buttered him! That was a she turkey! She buttered him and stuck him in the oven! Well, <laughs> I w thought it was, I was a little confused. I thought it was like, um, I thought it was a plank of wood. I mean, it was kind of like wood color. Really? What are the squawking to get away? <laughs> Did you stop trying to I mean, make it? When you saw through wood, that now, makes a sound too. when, <clears throat> there's a cookie. What? Instead of a turkey. You just don't cut up the cookie, do you? Good point, John! I do cut up my cookies. Oh! <laughs> you cut up everything! That's so sad. 
I take. You're cutting my hair! You're cutting my hair! Okay! Sorry. It's okay. Here. Here. Have this. This is my friend, okay. Robert Duffy. Thanks. Why? I just don't understand why you would cut up a turkey. And you oh, would cut up a cookie? Look at him! Look at the turkey! Oh, it's so sad. Do you feel sorry? For? I do, I'm sorry. It's, 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 it's mine. Face him! I'm sorry. I can't it's believe. Just, it's why? Don't look. The turkey is so well done. But. Thank you. Why is it so. Oh my! Yellow. You did not just say that my turkey looked delicious, did ya? Can, can I see your turkey? Oh, okay. I'm yelling. Why is the turkey so heavy? I don't understand. I wanna know. Do turkeys fly? Establish that Taylor feels good. All right. I'm confused with melancholy. Why is the turkey so heavy? So Taylor, when you were mad, were you some sort of pirate witch? Yes. Is that what you were going for? Pirate witch, yeah. even. Thank you for recognizing. Thank you want you your rubber duck? A rubber duck. Next up, we've got storyteller. So one of our actors is going to be an author who's. Com get your head out of my shot, Matt. This is my shot. One of our actors is going to be an author who's composing a novel out loud as they're typing it, and our other actors are going to be um, the characters in their imagination as they're composing the novel. So it can go both ways. The author might give you something that you have to act out, or if the characters come up with something, the author may have to incorporate it into his book somehow. Um, what? Isn't this one like based off of a new story usually? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, there's not a whole lot going. There's not a lot funny going on in the news. That's why you look at funny news stories. <laughs> I just killed a lot of people. Make a comedy scene out of that. Um, oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> Jeremy, you're the author. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> Figments of Jeremy's imagination. Michaela. Nice. <laughs> we should do. What do we do? Three figments. That sounded about yeah. oh, right. Three's good for a second. Matt. Taylor. Not a favorite. Okay. Oh, there she goes. All right, so let's uh, let's make up the title of the novel. What's the title of this book going to be? It's dark. <laughs> but. It's light. <laughs> it's dark, but it's light. It's dark, but... Genius. It's dark, but I've still got my... Flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, the title kind of writes the plot. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark, but I still got my It's matches. like that book, I Killed My Brother Sam. His brother Sam dies. <laughs> huh. Thanks! Did he kill him? Um, well, it was his fault, sort of. It's dark, but I've still got my brother Sam, is the title <laughs> of this particular book. Um, our genius author, Jeremy, has just had a brainwave for what his next hit bestseller book is going to be, and we will now tune in to What's him. What's the name? Let me get this straight real quick. What's the name of it? It's, it's dark, dark, but I've still got my brother Sam. <laughs> <laughs> And we will have the rare opportunity to tune in to the creative process of a genius author as he composes the next great American work of literature. I take you to author land. <laughs> Welcome to author land. Here I'll be writing my story upon darkness and darkness's brother, Sam. One day Sam's sister was leaning up against Sam's chair. Sam got angry. Sam Get off my chair! Sam cried. <laughs> then Sam yelled in anger. I hate you! Sam then lo yelled louder. I hate you! Sam's sister cried. <laughs> Sam's father, who was behind them, also cried. <laughs> <laughs> this happened for several minutes. They all stopped at the same time. They all, they all stopped crying at the same time. <laughs> Strange, proclaimed Sam. Strange. Sam's sister then hit Sam. Ow. Sam hit back. But! But! <laughs> Not Sam's sister. Sam's father. She thought it had been Sam's sister. Oh. Sam's father then was angry. Ow! Oh. Anger. Sam's father yelled about how dark it was. It's dark, you know. How he didn't know who hit him. Who hit me? Sam's I... sister proclaimed, "Not I." Not I. N not 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 I. Sam was confused. <laughs> Thought that I meant Sam and not Sam's sister. <laughs> huh. Sam's father hit both of them. Oh. I will turn this darkness around. I will turn this darkness around. No, Dad, please. No Christmas for the orphanage. No Christmas for the orphanage. Oh, Sam's man. father. But the children. What about their reindeer toys? Now, Sam's father was not a very good man. You but, suck, Dad! But! You're a very bad man! Sam's father was a good ballerina. As was Sam. I can't tell because it's dark, but I think he's doing pretty well. The family was all very good at ballet. Except Sam's sister. She liked to hunt. <laughs> you suck. She liked to hunt human beings! <laughs> on the skin. Not Bob Saget! Christmas I hate Christmas was a very funny time, but I hated it, so I said it wasn't a fun Sam time. Sam was so the I best figure of all Saget, of them! And that's a really neat old plan, and we went out together to destroy old Dan <laughs> and Christmas. <laughs> then it all ended with one note of Sam singing for an enormously amount of time. No clap were heard in the silent room. It was dark that filled the walls. Bulletproof. Jokes on you, sister! 
She continued singing the note. Someone make it end. Sam's father proclaimed, you're all grounded. You are all grounded. God oh, dang it. Sam's sister then said, it's not a phase, Dad. It's not a phase, Dad. I love to shoot human beings. I love pop punk and emo music. Pop punk and emo music is my life. And cut. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Nice. Can we get away with shooting human beings? <laughs> if they're bulletproof. <laughs> All right. Can we get away with anything we do? I mean, come on. Uh, I think the rule on TV seems to be you're allowed to show violence as long as you don't show the negative effects of violence. <laughs> that was a pretty positive theme. You're supposed to live, remember? You got shot. Really good I'm still alive. But seriously, everybody, violence has negative effects that we don't want to have in our lives. Don't be violent. Our next game is... Be violent. Oh, we're still ending with that one game? Oh, yeah. Uh, our next game, as always... Uh, our last game is World's Worst! <laughs> Alright, it's going to be the best practice ever, guys. We got this. I'm so excited. Dad, you here? Do you hear me? You hear me roar? I'm going to say the World's Worst. So it's not going to be you, Dad. Because I love you, Dad. Okay, Dad. Punch him in the face. We all hate that. <laughs> Alright, World's Worst thing to hear from your parents. <clears throat> Grounded. Hey, son, uh, we're not your parents. You, you're out of the house. <laughs> you're not my son. We wish you'd be more like Matt Piper. <laughs> We've all heard that. Your dog didn't actually go to the farm in the sky because he died. <laughs> well, we're gonna go to Cedar Point, but just warning you, you have to be at least five and a half feet tall to ride this ride, so good luck. <laughs> we put your ferret in the dryer. <laughs> oh, sorry, that new phone's not for you. That's for your sister, our favorite daughter. Sorry. Uh, sorry, wrong packaging. Is that actually your life, Lizzie? No. <laughs> Emotions going up on the improv show. <laughs> Why can't you have multicolored hair? <laughs> actually, really? Is that actually your life? <laughs> yeah. You're getting a little brother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a dancer for the rest of your life. What? <laughs> I wish my son was in theater instead of football. <laughs> <laughs> and cut! <laughs> Thank you very much. That's all we've got time for today. Have a good week. Can we pretend to be the worst? Can we do the ending? You're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tune in next time to Drama Dave. <laughs> 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 Alright, what's the show called again? Drama Dave's Acting Polly. Right. <laughs> <Paul Lisa. laughs> Thank you for tuning in and tune in next time at Drama Dave's Acting Paulooza for more games and laughs and jokes coming at you. Yeah! Woo! Woo!